Guys, so Danny Willett's just won the Masters. Absolutely brilliant for British golf, European golf, Scottish golf, whatever you want to talk about. Everything this side of the pond. That's us already. They got a win under the belt on a major already in a Ryder Cup year, which is fantastic. And how well did Danny golf the ball around Augusta? Absolutely brilliant. So, the idea behind Danny, or what he was doing around Augusta, was he was really driving the ball well. He was getting a high launch, but low spin off his driver, and that's what we're going to discuss today. I'm here at Mount Hooley Driving Range, uh, just near Jedburgh, and we're going to hit a few balls. We're going to try and find a way to get the ball to launch higher, but spin less. And that's how these boys on tour, Danny Willett's a perfect example, McElroy's a perfect example, how to get the ball to carry further, run out further, due to the higher launch and less spin. So let's get stuck in, let's try and find a way for us to manage to do that, and let's see how we go. So I've got flight scope set up here already to take some numbers. I have my iPad there to show you all the evidence. And here I've got proper golf balls, Pro V1s. And the driver I'll be using today to test this out is my Wilson F5 FG Tour, um, which is uh, Wilson's premium driver. Uh, set up in 10 and a half degrees of long, uh, loft, extra stiff shaft, and we're going to use that. I'm going to pop some impact tape on the face, and I'm going to try and hit some balls at the bottom of the face, the middle of the face, and the top of the face. And the reason behind that is, let me just quickly show you this. When you look straight on at your driver, okay, the actual face, let me just pause this camera, hold on for a second. Okay, so the face on my driver, or everyone's driver, has what's called roll. So the face actually rolls at an angle. So this is standard set up at 10 and a half degrees of loft, but that's only 10 and a half degrees right in the middle of the face. So right in the middle is 10 and a half degrees. However, up here, because of the roll, up here might be about 13, even 14 degrees. Down here could be as low as seven degrees. So the lower I hit it off here, the, or the, the lower in the face I hit it, there's gonna be a lower launch. The middle is going to get a mid launch and the top is going to get a higher launch. Okay, so I'm looking to, I'm, I'm expecting better figures out the top for a higher launch. Spin, we'll discuss later. I'm going to put some impact tape on and we'll give it a go from there. So, first of all, we're going to try and hit this out the bottom. And then we'll have a look at flight scores. So we're going to try and catch the bottom of the club, but it should give lower. I've got this too high to be able to play all the different heights of shot on the face. I'm going to hop on the club and try and almost thin this at the bottom of the club and see what we get, see what flight scope says from that. Okay, so it was quite low in the face. It's a little bit toey but it's definitely low on the face, so it's down here. So it's a little about the toe, but it definitely went low. Let's see what Flight Scope says about that. Okay, so here's this shot at the bottom. Let's have a look at this. So there's ball flight. Good. We push it one, it's fine. But the thing we're looking for here is, there we go, so it's spinning at 3,000 revs. It carried just over 234, or nearly 235 and the launch was coming off at 9.5. Now bear in mind, this is off the bottom of the club. The club's set up at 10.5, so it's coming out lower than the actual club's set up at, because it was so far down the bottom of the face. It's not carried as far as I normally hit the driver, and it's spun up at 3,000 revs. Let's hit one at the middle, see how that goes. And bring the stump head down. Okay, got it more central. Okay, so a wee bit high in the face, if you can see that. Zoom in on there. There we go, we'll see what flight scope says. Let's see. 
this time. So there we go, it tailed off a little bit to the right again. What shot was that? That was shot number three. Let's just do this, hold on. So there we go, a little tail off to the right, that's, that's fair enough, that's my shape. So let's have a look at this. So, we carried 241, or 242, so we've carried it an extra six or seven yards. We've reduced the spin by 500 revs, and we've got the launch angle up about four degrees. So it's launching higher, it's spinning less and carrying further because I caught it more out of the middle as opposed to the bottom. Let's try one at the top of the club, see what happens. So we're trying to catch us at the top way. The last one we tied it six or seven yards further, got the revs down by five five uh, five hundred and launched it by about four degrees higher. This time we're trying to get to the top of the club. Okay. okay. Good. Okay, so there's the marks on the face from the last shot. I've got a look at flight scope. So we're obviously, I've hit this more at the top of the club. It's quite central strike as well, you can see that. Um, and you can see the ball flight's a lot straighter. Let's just fly that one again. That's the first shot. Second shot, third shot, here it comes. So we've got a lot straighter ball flight there, which is great. And the numbers, the numbers that were all interested in. So it carried the same distance as the one I caught in the middle. So I've lost no distance. The launch angle is up at 13, great, so we've increased the launch angle again, so it's very similar to the middle of the club. Um, I thought I would launch a little bit higher, to be honest with you. Um, so middle to top of the club is a place to air on your ball strike to get the ball to launch higher. Carries further, but look at the spin, less than 2,000, which is great, so therefore it's a lot straighter ball flight. So it's gone a lot straighter. It's ran out a lot further, so there you go, total distance down the bottom there, 255. So let's just look at the stats for all three. Oh, you know, knocked the golf balls over there. So stats for all three, here we go. So first shot was out the bottom, carry, 234. Next one middle, which carried a little bit further, half a yard. And third one was out the top. And you can see the total distance, 242, 251, 256. So it's good further and further, the higher up the face I get. Um, I missed the first one, 14.3 yards to the right. The second one wasn't a great swing, 20 yards to the right. But this one, the last one at the top of the club, was only, wasn't even a yard to the left. So it's a little soft baby draw on it. And that is because the spin rate, you can see there, has come down from 3,070 revs per minute to 1,893 by hitting it more at the top of the club. So guys, there we go, that's it. So if you catch it a little bit more out the middle or more at the top, you're going to get a little bit more launch and less spin. So therefore, longer shot, straighter shot. Um, those numbers I got today were not quite close to my normal numbers. Um, it's very wet today and of course flight scope takes into consideration all that so it's not going to run out as far as I would normally hit the ball but certainly for this exercise it proved that hitting out the top of the club or the middle of the club certainly near the top I reckon you're going to get the ball launching higher and less spin less spin was obvious on that so therefore the ball was less left, less right um, when you go out in the course um, put a bit of talcum powder on the face of the tape or even spray a little bit of furniture polish on there and that will show you, indicate where you've hit the ball from and try and get out the top of the club, try and get out the top and even if you get a little bit more towards the toe you will, with gear effect, the ball will turn right to left so then all of a sudden you're hitting little baby draws that are launching higher and going straighter due to less spin um, Brilliant, thanks very much for watching, subscribe, leave any comments below and I'd just like to thank Wilson staff, Mountain Hooley Driving Range and Sunderland Golf for today's video Cheers, thanks